So right now we're going to go over um, how to create and share a document in Google Docs. I, there's different ways to get to Google Docs. One way is to go to your checkerboard up here and you can see that Docs is a function that you can click on. You can also get to Google Docs through your drive. If you're in the drive, um, all you have to do is click the new button up here in the left hand corner and Google Doc, and it will create a new one for you. Once you are in your um, created Google document, you can give it a name up here where it says Untitled Document. Um, Google Docs functions very simil similarly to Pages or um, Microsoft Word, um, any kind of Word document you've been in, in before. You can change the font, you can change the size, you can bold, italicize, underline, you can change the text color, you can highlight, um, you can embed the links into your document. You can center your text, you can change the line spacing, you can do numbers, you can do bullets. Um, so those are some of the just general page Word document things that are also in Google Docs. Um, you can share a Google Doc with others um, by clicking on the share function up here. If you click on that, um, you will be prompted to either put in an email address of the person you want to share it with and note that when you do this you're going to want to look at this box because you're going to, it automatically defaults to giving them editing privileges. Um, but you, if you click on it, you can change that to just comments or to just viewing the document. Um, there's also this get a shareable link feature. If you click on that, it will give you a link that you can share with others. But once again, you're going to want to look at this drop down menu. Okay. Um, I always suggest going to more to see what the options are. Um, you can make it public to the web, anyone with the link, just within your school domain, um, anyone with the link in your school domain, or only the specific people you share it with. And then once again, you're going to want to check this box down here. Are they going to be able to view, comment, or edit? Okay, you always want to make sure what privileges you are giving them within the document. Um, so once again, over here, you can type something in. And if I highlight it, I can change the font. I can change the size. I can bold it. Can also, um, if you don't know how to hyperlink, I can add a hyperlink to it. So, say I want to hyperlink it, um, this site's up. So, I'm going to copy that and paste it over here. And now it links to that website. Um, so, if there are sites that you want students to go to or something like that, you can do it within there. Um, you can go back. So, if you made a mistake, there's an undo. If you decided that mistake wasn't actually a mistake, you can redo. Um, and you can print. You can also um, change your page setup so that it's a landscape. You can change your margins in there. Um, if anyone tells you to make a copy of something, that's right here and make a copy. And I don't want to get into too much detail, so I'm going to stop there. Just note that it saves automatically and it saves to your drive. So that's where this document is now stored, is in my drive. Um, so that's how you create a Google Doc, how you share it, and that it has the basic features as any other Word document sharing site would have.